How to find the serial number for any Apple device. Every Apple product has a unique serial number that's made up of a long string of numbers and letters. You often need this number to check your device's warranty, schedule a repair, or make an insurance claim. Fortunately, there are usually a few different ways to find it. Here are all the places you can find the serial number for your iPhone. iPad, iPod, Mac, Apple Watch, AirPods, Apple TV, or HomePod. Before delving into the specific serial number locations for each device, you should know about several easy methods to find the serial numbers for any of your Apple products. Typically, these options only work if the device is linked to your Apple ID account or if you originally purchased it from Apple. On the plus side, each of these universal options is available even if you can't get your hands on the device itself, making them especially useful if you need to find the serial number after losing your device. You can view the serial number and other details of all your Apple products from the Apple ID website. This includes any Apple device that is currently signed into your account. Unfortunately, it doesn't include accessories, like AirPods, from any device or computer. Visit the Apple ID website and sign in using your username and password. If you use two-factor authentication, Apple's two-factor authentication lets you protect your Apple ID using your iOS device or Mac. Here's how to set it up and ensure you don't get locked out. After signing in, go to the Devices section to see a list of all your Apple devices. Select a device, iPhone, iPad, Mac, etc. to view details about it including the serial number. You can also find the serial number of any device signed into your Apple ID account from the settings menu of your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, or Mac. Again, this option doesn't show you the serial number for accessories, like AirPods, on an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Open the Settings app and tap your name at the top to view your Apple ID settings. Scroll down to see every device signed into your account. Then tap 1 to view more details about it, including the serial number. On a Mac, open the System Preferences and click Apple ID. Every device using your Apple ID account appears in the sidebar. Click on 1 to view details about it, including the serial number. When you buy an Apple product directly from Apple, you receive a purchase receipt with details about your new device, including the serial number. If you bought your device in an Apple store, you may have a paper receipt, but if you bought it online, you should have an email receipt with your device's serial number attached. If you still have the original box your Apple product came in, you should be able to find the serial number next to a barcode on the sticker. Check each side of the packaging to find this sticker. Make sure you read the serial number and not the UPC, which is next to a different barcode. If you can't find your serial number using the universal methods above, follow the device-specific instructions below. If you can turn on and use your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, go to Settings Greater Than General Greater Than About to find the serial number listed alongside other information for your device. If your device turns on, but you can't open settings, perhaps due to a cracked display, find your serial number by connecting to a computer instead. Use a lightning to USB cable to connect your device to a computer running iTunes or Finder on macOS Catalina and later. Open iTunes or Finder, then select your device to view information about it. In iTunes, find your serial number on the Summary tab. In Finder, click the gray text beneath your device name at the top of the window to reveal your serial number. Finally, if your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch doesn't power on at all, you may be able to find the serial number printed or engraved on the device itself. Check the back of your device. Towards the bottom. Alternatively, eject the SIM tray, if your device uses one, and inspect that instead. On an iPhone or cellular iPad, you might find the IMEI number but no serial number. The IMEI number is an equally unique string of numbers that you can use to identify your device instead of the serial number. You may struggle to find your serial number if you have an iPod Classic, iPod Nano, or iPod Shuffle. However, the serial number should be engraved somewhere on the device. Keep checking every surface to find it. On an iPod Shuffle, it is printed beneath the clip. 
whatever Mac you own, if it powers on, it's easy to check the serial number from the Apple menu. Click the Apple icon in the top left corner and select about this Mac. You can find important Mac information. As a Mac user, you must know certain details about your computer in case you need to troubleshoot. Here are several key Mac details you should check right now. On an iMac, you may need to look at the bottom of the foot stand to find your serial number. And on older Mac Pro models, you can find the serial number on the back panel, beneath the video ports. If this isn't possible, find the serial number using a connected iPhone instead. On the iPhone, open the Apple Watch app and go to the My Watch tab. Tap General greater than about to find the serial number for your connected Apple Watch. If your Apple Watch doesn't power on and isn't connected to an iPhone, look for a serial number printed on the watch itself. Check around the edge of the sensor or inside the band slots after removing the watch strap. The easiest way to find the serial number for your AirPods or AirPods Pro is from the Settings app on a connected iPhone. With your AirPod case open, go to Settings greater than general greater than about on your connected iPhone. Then scroll down and select your AirPods to find the serial number for them. If you can't pair your AirPods with an iPhone, you should still be able to find the serial printed inside the lid of the charging case. The serial number is also printed in extremely small type on the bottom of each AirPod itself. Unless you have first generation AirPods. From your Apple TV home screen, go to settings greater than general greater than about to find your serial number. If that isn't possible, you can also find the serial number from Apple's home app on another Apple device. Open the home app from your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, or Mac. Tap and hold, or double click, on your Apple TV. Then scroll down to reveal more details about it, including the serial number. Finally, you can also find the serial number in reflective print on the bottom of the Apple TV itself. You may need to shine a flashlight to read the reflective serial number clearly. Your Apple TV remote or Siri remote also has a unique serial number associated with it. Find this serial number from settings greater than remotes and devices greater than remote on your Apple TV. If your Apple HomePod is connected to your Apple Home Network, open the Home app on an iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, or Mac. Tap and hold, or double click, on your HomePod. Then scroll down to find the serial number. Apple offers a generous one-year limited warranty from the purchase date of any product. After finding your serial number, use it to check when your Apple warranty expires. Damaged your iPhone or Mac and need to see if your warranty is still active. Here's how to check the warranty status of any Apple device. Text source, makeuseof.com.